Now we are going to calculate the hand the height above the nearest drainage in meters. Uh, if we go to here, we know that the height above the nearest drainage has influence in flood susceptibility since low lying land adjacent to streams is more susceptible to be flooded that higher than higher land. This map, uh, in the case of this article, was, was generated with a previously developed tool by DILTS. Uh, in our case, this element will be made by us, meaning we will build the, the hand from, from scratch. Um, but this requires the DM and the streams layers as inputs. And when reclassifying lower values of hand were assigned to a higher class and higher values were assigned to a lower class, as shown in table number two. Let's return to ArcGIS Pro and in the geoprocessing toolbar we are going to search by the field for the field tool for the input surface raster we will choose the dm for the output surface raster we will uh, save this in our mid, um, mid data and i will call it uh, fill so we know which uh, element is this one for the environments of course we do the same as we did on the slope and we are going to do this for all the all the elements that we are going to create in the future let's click uh, run so the next step we need to go also to the geoprocessing toolbar and search for flow direction for the input surface raster we need to add uh, the fill raster output flow direction raster will be this will be saved also in the mid data and i will call this f underscore direction For the output drop raster and flow direction type, we don't need to change. And for the environments, we do the same as we did before. Click run to generate the flow direction. Next, we are going to calculate the flow accumulation. So just search for flow accumulation. For the input flow direction raster, this will be the flow direction we create previously. And for the output location, this will be saved also in the mid data uh, folder. So we just um, save uh, the last result in the results folder. Okay. So this will be called F underscore accumulation, but the name is too large. Let me set this uh, F ACC. Input weight raster, we don't need to add anything. Output data type will be float. Input flow, flow direction type will be the same as we did before, so D8. And for the environment, we do the same. Let's click run. It's important to understand that with these tools at this stage, we are extracting from the DM the likely locations where the water lines are situated. We can already see some of those water lines in this result. Now let's create a conditional uh, if else with the con tool. So let's click on this one. For the input conditional raster, this will be the flow accumulation. And then here we need to select or create a condition. We can see that in the flow accumulation, we have values ranging from zero to almost 660,000. And with this tool, we are going to extract some of those values by applying a condition. The values we choose here depend greatly on the number of water lines we want to represent. Since I only want to show the most important water lines, I'll need to set a high value. But before that, we are going to try several values so you can see the difference. So here, let's try 500. Here, we need to set this as the flow accumulation as well so for the input true raster or constant value. We need to set 
location. This is a meet data as well. Let me call this con and we set the environments. I forgot to mention, but in the condition I set uh, that I want to represent values greater than 500. Let's click run. Okay, so we have our result, but we need to, yeah, we need to uncheck some of the elements so we can see better this, uh, this example. Let me just invert the symbology of the con raster. Not here, but here. And let me just uncheck and check these these elements. Okay, this one, also the census data. Yeah, uh, we need to flip the values as well, also because now we cannot see because the reverse are represented in uh, in white. Okay, so here we have some of the rivers represented, but we have a lot of them and I don't want this. I want to represent only uh, the, major, uh, the major lines. So we need to set uh, a different value on the con raster, okay? Let me just add the um, a base map so we can see if this actually represents uh, water lines, which looks like it. If we increase the value on the con um, on the con tool, we will end up with fewer water lines keeping only those that represent the main ones. Let me remove the base map and increase the value from 500 to 1000 and see what happens. Let's click run. We now have fewer water lines, but it's still not enough for what I want to represent. So we need to increase the number uh, a little bit more. I'm going to set it to 10,000. From experience, I already know that this is a value close to what I need for this example. So let me just add a new zero and click run again. we can see that we have far fewer lines now uh, as we can see let me add a new base map as well this time let me add this topographic for example so we can see better the water lines if they really correspond to to rivers let me just wait a second and zoom in in a location. If we notice it's clear that this new raster aligns with the water lines shown on, on the base map. So let's proceed. Let me just remove uh, the baseline, uh, the base map uh, once again. Let's now reclassify so that we have a single value to represent the water lines. So let's search for reclassifying the geoprocessing toolbar. Uh, the input raster will be the con reclass field will be the the value so let's click unique actually no we need to click on classify let's just wait a second let's click on classify let's change these to uh, one class um, let me let me just repeat the process because it didn't work. So class will be one class. Okay, now it worked, click OK. And the value could be uh, uh, value number one, okay. Output raster, this will be a mid data, um, a mid data as well. So let me save this in the mid data. And for the name, let's call this R for reclassify and underscore con, okay? Uh, click OK and set the environments.
after clicking run we will have the the reverse in uh, one raster file and finally we now can calculate the height above the nearest drainage okay for that we will use the flow um, the flow distance uh, geoprocessing tool so let me just go back search for flow distance the input will be the the con we just create the surface raster needs to be the fill this one output raster this will be saved on the mid data folder because uh, the final result will be the reclassification of the height above the nearest drainage so let's just save this in the mid data let me just call this hand click ok input flow direction raster this will be the flow direction this one distance type needs to be vertical for the hand remember that uh, hand represents the vertical distance to the nearest water flow path so we need to set this as vertical okay set the environments uh, as we did uh, in the in the other results and let's click ok to see to see uh, the result finally we need to reclassify the the hand okay so let's search for reclassify let's go back to the article actually so uh, values uh, below 2 will have a class of 5 and values above 8 will be uh, will have the class of 1 notice that we have values between 0 and 506 and in the article we don't know uh, the range uh, of the of the hand so we are going to use the same uh, reclassification and values that we see on the article okay so we need to set these as five classes as we as we know and uh, we need to set these as the same val with the same values as the article okay so let's start uh, for example with this one let me just adjust this a little bit first so this will be below two this will be from two to four four to five or to six actually um, the, the value number four will be from six to eight and the value number one actually will be um, above eight okay so from eight to five hundred and six let's click ok and uh, the the first value will have the class five okay so we need to flip the values so here in rts pro this will be the value number five this will be four three two and this one will be the value number one so we have the the hand reclassification with the same values of uh, of the article let's now save these uh, these results this result will be saved on the results because it's the the final final step of the end um, classification so har underscore hand the reclassification of hand and let's set the environments output coordinate system will be the same as current map extent will be the dm snap raster and mask will be the dm as well so here dm here and we can click run and after the uh, result uh, is finished we'll we will need to we don't need but i will uh, change the the colors so it matches the the slope that we that we did previously so uh, the class number five will have the color uh, red so there's the more susceptibility to fl to floods in the class number five class number four will have an orange color three with yellow 
two with this light light green and lastly the value number one will have this dark green okay so there we go we have uh, the hand um, classified okay so next we need to set the distance to strings thank you for watching if you like this type of content don't forget to like subscribe and comment what you want to learn next